Every day when we step out of our front door, you never know what you're going to find. But if you keep your eyes open, you just might see something amazing. A man playing classical music from just basic glasses? Or another who spent the last 30 years entertaining crowds and doing what he loves? If you just give it a shot, you'll see something that you may never have seen before. So what is your name? My name is Brian. And how long have you been playing crystal glasses? 18 years. What made you want to start playing? Uh, just collecting the set, and I got so terribly excited, I didn't want to stop. It's a hobby that just took over my life. Are you a trained musician, or this uh, well, is something yeah, you picked up? Glasses have tra been training me every day. And uh, if you have any requests, it'd be lots of fun. Something that you want to get. Um, do some jazz then. Do some jazz. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is a beautiful uh, ballad called Tenderly. My name is Charlie Cox. I've been playing in this uh, location about 26 out of the last 35 years. I started playing here in 1977. Actually, 75, I was playing in the Art Museum until they closed that down to street singers like myself. And two days later, they opened the, the Page Museum, and I was over here like a shop on the second day it was open. What keeps bringing you back? I guess this is the only thing I've figured out how to do that I didn't mess up. <laughs> but I can come here and just about support myself, and uh, I really enjoy it. I just get to play for you name it. I played for ex-presidents, or one anyway. Which Jimmy one? Carter. Okay. Um, played for movie stars, bums, <laughs> you name it, I played for it. Little kids, I love playing for kids. And uh, it's just it's been my life's work, actually. And I really, I really love this park. It's one of the best places in the city. So what, what gave you the... I guess the courage, because I also work for myself. So what gave you the courage to, to not go the regular route? That has a lot to do with my mom. <laughs> she was just so unbelievably stuck in the middle class values. Anything that she was, I wasn't going to be. <laughs> um, what it comes down to. And so I started doing this. And... Uh, and I just, I don't know, just something I could do that kept me, you know, out of utter poverty mm -hmm. and uh, into something that was useful, more or less. Looking back, would you go back and change anything, or this is what you think you're meant to do? I 
I think it, it must be more or less what I'm meant to do because I'm doing it <laughs> and I have been for so long, so enjoyably. Uh, it's just, uh, like yeah, I said, so my life works. And, uh, I keep forgetting how many people like uh, the Bobby Bell. works for What is your favorite song to play? Oh, gee. I don't know. I guess the one I, hmm. I enjoy most playing is called the Trusty Lariat. Can you play a little bit for me? Mm. Across the high Sierra mountains, coming as me passenger train. Bobo's tried to ride her, but found it all in vain. The doctor took three tickets and he counted every soul. The engineer looked straight ahead and the fireman shoveled coal. The fireman was a cowboy, but do not think it strange. To make more money shoveling coal and riding on the range. But though he was a fireman and though he had to sweat, he still remained a western guy. Thank you so much. Well, you're very welcome.